from Toledo. 13 Action News starts now. Her 19-year-old son died suddenly in the care of two caregivers. One has been charged, but his mother says that's not enough. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Josh Krupp. We begin with this story tonight on 13 Action News reporter Alexandria Manthe speaking with her today live in studios with the new details. Deanne Kleinhans is urging for the second caregiver involved to be charged. Calling for justice. I feel like they're both guilty of not paying attention to him, not being where they were supposed to be, not putting his needs before their own. Deanne's son, Ethan Kleinhans, died from asphyxiation due to neck compression. One caregiver, Jeffrey King, was indicted on a charge of failing to provide for a functionally impaired person. But the second caregiver remains off the hook. I feel like she should be getting charged as well. Ethan's mother tells 13 Action News the prosecutor told her the second caregiver will not be charged. Both caregivers accompanied Ethan on a drive that day. They stopped at a house in Toledo. In a prior interview with King, he told us it was the other caregiver's relative's house and they stopped to get something to eat. He says the other caregiver left the vehicle and went into the house, but Ethan was supposed to have two caregivers with him at all times. I guess because they were allowed to go for like bathroom breaks and to sit down and eat and take a break to eat that it was okay that she wasn't there. Toledo Fire responded to the home for a call of a male tangled in his harness. King told us he cut the harness off of Ethan after he noticed he turned blue and was drooling. However, Mercy Health reports obtained by 13 Action News say EMS had to cut the seatbelt to extricate Ethan. We reached out to Toledo Fire and Rescue to confirm this, but they refused to answer our question. A lot of choices were made that day. And because of those choices, Ethan is dead. Deanne says she plans to file a wrongful death lawsuit against the two caregivers and ViaQuest. She's pushing for change so this doesn't happen to someone else's child. Cameras need to go into all transport vehicles, especially for those who are nonverbal, because then all you have is the word of a staff member who's going to cover their own butt. She's remembering her son as someone who was always happy. He Love to run, jump, he's smiley. Jeffrey King is set to face a judge for the first time, November 13th. Josh. Alexandria Manthe.